The um, president's quiz app here. I'm going to teach you how to make it a multiple choice quiz. I'm going to start off where all the answers have the same choices. Okay, and then later I'll show you how to make it so every question has a list of its own choices. Okay, but first of all, we're going to use a list picker. And the list, list picker component basically you can put any list in it and it will give a user a choice. So I'm going to go grab a list picker and I'm going to drag it in to my app and we're going to use this guy and you'll notice it looks like a button okay um, and I'm going to call this guy answer list picker okay instead of list picker one and it's got this button associated with it and I'm going to set the text of that to choose answer okay so I don't want the default here I'm going to say choose answer so the user is going to be able to click this choose answer button okay and when they click it um, the list of an answer choices will come up. So I don't need this text box which I was using for for answering um, for the user to answer before they, they had to type the answer. And what I did was when the user clicked the answer button I would check what was in that text box, right? And I would compare it versus the right answer. Okay, now we're going to use the list picker where the user chooses an answer. Okay, so back in the designer I'm going to delete remove this answer text box and the answer button so let's get rid of those guys because basically our list picker is going to replace both of those so I'll do the same with the answer button okay so now I've just got these you can do choose answer or get to the next question that's how my UI is now okay so let's go to the blocks um, let's see so key with list picker is there's two um, events you need to handle to deal with a list picker and one of them is before picking and one of them is after picking okay and these are actually pretty straightforward before picking happens when the user touches choose answer so before they've actually chosen one of the answers this is where you can put what you want to be in the list to show up this is where you can put it okay and the way you the way you kind of put that is you set the elements field of the list picker okay so we've got these lists, right? Picture lists, answer lists, question lists. And let's just say that we want every, for every question, we'll give the user all three choices. Now this isn't very good because the first one's going to be Roosevelt, second car, third Nixon. So it's one, two, three for questions one, two, three, right? Uh, but anyway, we're going to use it just for this first solution. And so what I want to do is I want to put some stuff in my list picker that's going to appear. Okay, and what I'm going to put is a reference to answer list. Okay, so as soon as I stick that guy in, okay, now because the list picker elements is associated to the answer list, right? Now I'm going to touch, so my phone's projected on the screen, I'm going to touch choose answer, and you'll see that it shows all those three items in the answer list. Okay. Nothing's going to happen when I choose it because I don't, I don't deal with the after picking. Okay, so before picking, I can associate my list picker with some actual list of things. Okay, and that's what I just did. Now, in after picking, this is when they actually choose one of those three. This is when I, where I want to see if the answer is, is correct. Okay, so I'm going to go grab an if statement. And this will be similar to how we were, um, how our code was before when the user was typing in an answer. But we're going to have an if else, okay? And now our comparison is going to be um, basically what the user chose. So answer list picker or any list picker has a selection property, okay? And this is what the user actually chose. And I'm going to compare that. I'm going to do an equals. I could also use compare text, but I'm going to use an equals. And I want to know if what they chose is the actual answer. So we know we're on some particular question and answer and we've got this variable index to, to deal with that. So I'm going to grab the select list item. Okay. And what I'm going to select from is from my answer list. And I'm going to use my variable index. So this is going to give me the current answer, the current right answer. And I want to compare that current right answer with what the user selected from the list picker. Okay? And that's pretty much our comparison. So if it's if it's correct, 
then we're going to want to set our correct label to something like, you know, you're, you're awesome, right? Some, some nice thing. Tell them they're correct. Okay. And then if they're wrong, we just want to tell them that. And uh, let's just be a mean guy. Sorry you blew it. Okay. So let's see if our list picker is working. So here's my question, and, and I'm on question one, which, which should be Roosevelt's my answer, right? So I'm going to click choose answer. Okay. It gives me three choices. Okay. If I choose Roosevelt, it says correct. Good job. Okay. I can stay on this question, choose Nixon. Sorry, you blew it. Okay, that's that's good. Just to test to make sure, I'll click next. And this this answer should be Carter, right? So I'm going to choose answer, choose Carter, and correct the job. Okay, so I think I've successfully changed my quiz to be multiple choice. Um, I'm using this list picker component, which which gives a user a choice of things to choose from, and, and that's nice. And you know, my my solution so far is not great because, you know, if the user, you know, just they, they can pick the first answer for the first and second for second, etc. You really want a different list of answers for every question. And that's what I'll show you doing the next in the next video.